Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. This one, we're in mid-journey. We're in mid-journey version six, as you'll see here. And I'm gonna show you how to upload your own image and use it as part of a prompt. For example, I have my French Bulldog slash English Bulldog Kingston. I uploaded him here, he's super gorgeous. And then I used him as a prompt where he's reading a book or he's an astronaut or whatever it is. So I'm gonna show you how to do this step by step Let's go. Okay, so the first step is once you're in Discord, you need to grab your image and drop it into the command line here or into the uh, chat line. So here we go. I'm gonna grab this image here of my dog on the beach. You'll see here as I drag and drop it here, it says upload to mid journey. Now I used Finder because I'm on a Mac. If you're on a PC, you'll wanna use Windows Explorer. And just drag your image in here. Now very critically, you, you need to follow another step. Once the image is loaded, you need to press enter or return. The reason why you wanna do that is because it needs to process that. Some people were getting stuck, not being able to use the image. You have to upload it. So once you've got it to this step, now I'm gonna show you the next step. Okay, so we've pressed return or enter. Now the image is loaded. I'm going to right click on the image and you'll see here at the bottom, copy link. If you don't see that, you can actually click on the image and then just right click on it and copy link. Either way, both work. Excellent, now we're gonna do the imagine command. So I'm gonna go forward slash imagine, and then I'm just gonna command V on a Mac, control V on a PC, and paste that link that we just copied when we did the copy link, paste it in. The next step, make sure you hit space bar, and now type in what you want. I have a bulldog. I don't know, on a beach with a mountain in the background. I mean, I'm just having some fun here. Whatever you want it to be. This is the basic way to do this. I'm gonna show you what this comes back with, and then I'm gonna show you a second way that allows you to adjust the weights. It's a little more complicated, but it works a little better. So let me show you the first way. I'm gonna hit enter, come back, and show you what we got. Okay, welcome back. So this is the first run that I've done of it, and let me click on the four images, and you're gonna see here that we've got a bulldog you can see he or she is on the beach. It looks similar to my puppy Kingston, but if you look real closely here, it looks like some of the colors are a little off. And that's okay because maybe you don't want an exact copy of your dog or whatever your image is. But let me show you another technique that allows you to weigh the image better. So let's get right into that. Okay, so the last and final technique I'll do here is you want to do forward slash imagine. I'm going to copy and paste in the same link. So the same link to this image here. I'm gonna hit space bar, and then I'm gonna do the same thing, bulldog on a beach with a mountain in the background. But watch this, I'm gonna hit space bar, and then I'm gonna go dash, dash, IW. IW means image weight. So we're weighing the amount of emphasis we wanna put on this image. And then I'm gonna hit space bar, 2.0. I'll put the link to this in the description below in case you get stuck anywhere. Now I'm gonna hit enter and watch what happens here. I'm gonna come back when this is done and you're gonna see it's applied a different weight to that. And that's my bulldog snoring, by the way. So I'll come back when it's done. Okay, welcome back. So it's gone ahead and run it. And now look at this. Here's the original image. Keep that in the back of your head here. Now I'm gonna click on the four that we got. And if I look at it, you'll see here that the bulldog looks a lot more like my guy, especially the one here on the bottom right. You'll see that it's got a little bit of a darker color on both sides of the head. It's got the white stripe going up the middle here. It's got a little bit of a three quarter angle. This one here looks very similar, but maybe a little bit light in the coat there. Uh, but if we look at that one, and this one might need a little darkening, but you can always rerun it or re, you know, hit the uh, variations of this and request things. But look at that. This here is my original bulldog doing his thing, Kingston. And then here it is reweighted using IW 2.0. Those are the techniques that you need to use. I'll put links in the description below to go ahead and use your images and your art as prompts in Mid Journey version six. Thanks for watching.